so this is their Hygar heater box. And I did not watch the unboxing that my dad did. <laughs> but um, it has a thermostat and all of that good stuff in the heater. So I was just reading the instructions. I know, a strange phenomenon. But over here is our 180 gallon aquarium. So you can see our Oscars out front, our Sevrums. And cool fact about Sevrums is that every 10 to 14 days, they said there's slime coat. So a lot of people treat them for ick, but that's actually just a slime coat and they said it. So most of us don't do that. And then when the owners see this, they think it's ick. But if you look, you can just see it falling off as the fish swims. So they regenerate a new one and that helps them keep them parasite free. And you can see this one down here, how some people can mistake that for ick, but that's just their slime coat and them setting it. But if Mr. Sevrum will get out the way, you can see back there, if the camera wants to focus on it, we have an Eheim heater. So that is a 300 watt Eheim heater that we have set to 78 degrees. So I'm gonna pull out that Eheim heater and I am going to put in this Highgar heater, show you guys how to set it and how to install it. And then I am going to do a 24 hour update on how it's holding the temperature in the tank. Cause the house runs around 68, 70 degrees. So when we put the Highgar heater in, we'll be able to see how stable it is. Okay, so I just unplugged the 300 watt Eheim heater, which is this one right here, so you can see it's about two foot long. That's a pretty nice heater. You can see that it says right here, 300 watts, 120 volts, and it's rated for 264 gallons. But we've had that on this tank for since we got it and it was running on that before. And every year or so you should replace your heaters cause that's the life support for your tank. And if it gets stuck in the on position, it will heat up your water and fry your fish. I, uh, one of my friends had that happen to it and I had a live bear tank, which that happened to. So it's very not fun when you roast your fish. Very sad, it was so sad. Yeah, he had a pleco that was, how many years was it old mom? Oh, was that Nathan? Yeah. Mr. Poe. I don't know, a long time. Yeah, his dad had the tank and then it was passed on to him. And then one day he just woke up and his fists were fried and he said he put his hand in the tank and the water is very hot. So this high guard heater has a thermometer and once it reaches above 90 degrees, it turns off. If, my, if I remember what my dad told me correctly, I might not be. You gotta go watch his unboxing video. Make sure you like that. But, um, it's this pretty heavy heater. So that's a nice safety feature. That's awesome. E, that it um, has the temperature probe in it and it won't get above 90. So your fish won't fry, which is very important. No fish fry for us. Uh-huh. This isn't a Friday fish fry with fish and chips. No. No, no, no. We, we, are, we are not doing that today. We love these fish. Mm -hmm. And then you can see that these suction cups Yep. just clip on on. Nice. And then they slide up and down. So I'm going to see if you come look at this. As if you look behind Mr. Ross here, I apply a little bit of pressure and all four suction cups grab onto it and it blends into the back black ground quite nicely. Yeah. This is really nice because most people don't want to see their heaters just hanging out back there and it's normally a destruction of the tank. And there goes the fire alarm. E, I mean, not our fire alarm, thank goodness. We might have to turn off the video if the our fire alarm is going off. True, true. So I'm trying to get this zip tie undone if mother wants to start speaking. Yeah, heaters are very important when you have tropical fish, right, Dave? Yeah. When are they like the tropics, they like it warm. I love watching this tank of beautiful fish. 
we were just playing cards and I ended up winning because mother likes to make this into oh. Yes, he was playing we were playing spades. So uh him and his partner won two games and we lost bad. And you just heard it beat, which said it was on. Okay. And if you come and look. Oh, cool. It's saying that the tank is 75 degrees. Wow. Which means the high guy heater was running three degrees off. And when you get a heater, it normally runs a few degrees off. But that's very good that you can see this. And it just immediately turned on. A very nice screen. So what are you going to set it to? I'm going to find out. Okay, so I, it says 78 there? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, I'm going to learn how to set this. Because if you go up high enough, it just sort of goes back down. So I'm going to leave it at 76. The fish wants to know what you're doing. Hello, Mr. Lemmy. It says, what are you doing with the temperature? Okay, an update on Lemmy. This was one of the fish that we rescued. And he's doing nice and good, very chunky. And then the parrot that came with him is actually um, the platinum parrot that is breeding. And we just moved them, which I forgot to film. We don't talk about that. <laughs> but they're now downstairs, so it's saying that the tank is 75.7, and that it is working, I believe. I'm going to have to read the instructions better. Well, how about, what did you say that is? Because you can see these little things down here. I don't know if the camera's picking up, but you can see it with your eye, Mom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Time to read the instructions. You know men never read the instructions, so I might have to get Mom to do that. True, 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 true. So we're going to pause this while I get Mother to read me the instructions because I'm too lazy to. <laughs> Oscar says, what you talking about, Willis? Read those instructions. Okay, okay. Okay, I am now back after reading the instructions and some other things. But if we look here, you can see that the high gar heater is at 77.8 degrees. This is very nice. So what it said was, um, I think it said it flashes three times and then you push the set button. But anyways, I got it to work. Now you can see Mr. Baby Oscar, who's not much baby anymore, and the Jack Dempsey. They're all doing good. Tomorrow or the next day, I'll pick up the camera and show you guys this tank and how the heater is performing. But now that it's set it up, you're gonna see, and this is in close eye of the entire family, so we should be able to guess if anything goes wrong, but it's not getting, because this is a great heater. And then, um, I'm probably gonna clean out the two FX6s that are on here. Well, because you can see that one's starting to run pretty low, it's starting to put some particles back in the water. So I'm probably gonna go do that off camera. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe. And enjoy the rest of your day.